All right, hello everyone. Wanted to go over some information regarding this April 22nd deadline. Um, for most of you who probably already know, that is the date where the overlay applications are going to need to basically be uh, voided out of the apps from being used. And, uh, you know, that's going to directly uh, affect the Android and iOS components of the Golf Clash Notebook tool. So, you know, anything that draws on the screen is going to have to be removed from the app starting April 22nd. So there will be an, an update coming to the app that will go into effect on Monday. So that means that, you know, it's not just Golf Clash Notebook. It's, it's all apps have to be in compliance. So... Um, you know, do know that if a developer does not comply, they're essentially, you know, putting themselves at risk. And that's the main reason that, uh, you know, Golf Clash Notebook is going to be complying. And basically, you know, we, we want to basically take this time and just kind of work with Playdemic to make this as easy as possible. And, um, you know, just remove out the overlay uh, capability. So, you know, that's basically going to, you know, kind of restrict us to kind of being able to use, and, and here you can see is the full screen view, which you'll be able to use, um, which you can set up, um, especially on the Androids, you can set up some kind of split screen view or open pop-up menu, something like that. So, you know, for instance, if I was, you know, wanted to go into a second app here and wanted to go ahead and set up a pop open window, um, you know, that's something that I can do and I can I can size it. This is something that Android specific uh, Samsung's um, have this built in capability to do this to where I can basically, you know, set up a pop up and, you know, keep it floating on my screen. And this is something that you'll still be able to do uh, with the Android tool, is you'll be able to basically, you know, use the full screen mode here and be able to, uh, you know, get all your ring data and uh, information typed in, and then you'll have to just basically use that information to go ahead and shoot your shot. Um, another thing that I want to kind of show Android users, there's this app called Good Lock here. Typically, what what happens when I do this uh, split screen here, where I'm I'm at, while I have this open, you're basically disconnecting from Golf Clash. However, there's this application called Good Lock. Now, this can be found in the Galaxy Store. So if you have the Galaxy Store, that's not the Google Play Store. It's the Galaxy Store only. So if you have this app and you can find um, the Good Lock app and get it on your device, there's this feature called Multi-Star. As you can see, I have it installed. When I click on it, you can see use multi-window without pausing. When I toggle that to the on position, what this allows me to do is use split screen. It allows me to do two apps at once and it keeps me from disconnecting. And it also kind of explains this as well. So what typically will happen is you'll have a pause on an app. However, using this, this allows you to have no interruption. So you will not disconnect from game if you have this on your device. Similarly, you'll see that I have this material queue as well, and you can see that I also have a Golf Clash uh, overlay that I've developed. And if I was to go in here and wanted to go and look at the edit screen, here you can see all the code that is in place. And you can copy this, screenshot it, um, and you know essentially use word for word. And when you use this, as you can see that it's set up, um, you know, it'll basically give me a screen grid that I can use. Now, if I wanted to, you know, get, over, get, um, you know, get rid of certain lines, you know, that I didn't want, for instance. Um, so when looking at this code here, um, you know, there's basically some parentheses here that are 
are not parentheses, but they're um, the comment lines. You can see where it says wind arrows sent. Uh, so those are just comment lines. They don't actually influence the code, but it'll show you that if you wanted to remove, you know, for, for any reason, let's say I wanted to get rid of the, uh, the horizontal line or something, then I could just take out this part of the code. So I would just have to remove these individual pieces. And you can also see that we have the curling grid line there. So, um, you know, this is going to be good for, you know, probably an S9 phone, uh, definitely uh, the Note 8 and Note 9. You'll be able to use this exact uh, spacing and everything. Um, however, you may need to play around with these numbers, you know, change them to you know, who knows, 20, 30%, for example. Um, it, it really just depends on the device that you're on. And you may have to just tweak these percentages. However, you'll see that, uh, you know, using this app, you'll be able to toggle this on and off um, as, you, as you choose to do so. So it is, um, you know, an app that's available and something that you can also use for Golf Clash that'll be not found in the app anymore, but there's going to be, you know, alternative methods that you can use. And um, Playdemic has said, you know, they, they, they don't mind if you use this stuff. So as of now, you're not breaching any, any terms of their service by doing this. So by using these things, you know, you're allowed to do this. And that's why I'm explaining it to you. And, you know, if you have these Android phones, you'll be able to use um, all these features. Um, and if you, you know, don't have Samsung specific device, you may not be able to do this stuff. So, you know, there is going to be some kind of essential advantage that, you know, Samsung specific people can have over other guys. However, your device may have other things and you may want to research and try to find out what you are capable of doing. But as I mentioned, if you have the Galaxy Store, you can find the Good Lock app and Material Q can be found in the uh, regu regular Google Play Store. And once you set up those apps, you can see that we can basically run you know, the game just as we used to and just have this pop-up window. Um, alternatively, you know, I can also set up split screen and you'll actually see, you know, I actually have it docked to where I, I already have one, you know, basically default. So if I was just to click this, it'll already open me up in um, duplication screen here to where I have multi-app mode here to where I could basically set this up you know, any way that I wanted, you know, I can do split screen if I want, if I want to, to do this, or I can do the overlay. I prefer kind of the, uh, the uh, alternative option, but there you can see, you know, I can switch and, uh, you know, switch the apps if I want and basically keep one partially open or, um, you know, it just kind of shows you the different things that I can do. And if I wanted to put it into pop-up, I can just do it this way. And we can go straight into pop-up mode as well. So you can see, you know, uh, a lot of different options here for what we're capable of doing. So, um, you know, just did want to make sure that you're aware of this so you can see, you know, how to use it and... You know, if your device is compatible with this, you'll be able to do it. <clears throat> but it won't be for all devices. But uh, your device may have other things that you're capable of doing. If you're on iOS, obviously there's going to be no draw on the screen capability whatsoever. So these grid lines are impossible. So that's going to be an Android specific thing. Um, however, you know, that means Material Q app is going to be able to be downloaded with any type of phone. Um, the only thing that may not be possible is this overlay type feature. Uh, only certain Samsungs seem to have this capability as well as this good, good lock app application as well. This is a Galaxy Store item. 
So it's nothing that can be found in the Google store. So don't go looking for this in the Google store. You won't be able to find it. But you can see what that multi-star is capable of. And, uh, you know, highly recommend that you guys look into that if you're looking for alternatives to the overlay option. As I mentioned, you know, you will not be breaching anything to Playdemic at this point. They're not going to be coming after you for using overlays. Do they have the capability of detecting overlays? The, the answer to that question is yes. Now, do they want to use that for anything? Um, and that's so right now they don't care. But that doesn't mean forever that they're not going to not care. So they have the ability to detect overlays. So all this can be seen on Playdemic side if they want to set something up in place to detect it. Now, whether or not they choose to ever do anything with that information, uh, you know, that's, that's, I don't know. If they're going to, um, it's something that could potentially happen. But as for now, you know, if all the developers here comply, I'm assuming they're going to be perfectly fine and just keep everything the way that it is. You see with the way that their terms of service is laid out and all they're trying to do is go after developers only. So if you use all this stuff in game, you're not going to get in trouble. There's not going to be anything that happens to your account. They're, they're never going to essentially ban you from using any of this stuff. The worst thing that may happen, which isn't going to happen as of now, is you know they may put some kind of overlay detection in place. And if they determine that, that they want to do that, they can essentially you know, give you a forfeit if an overlay is detected. And you know all these things can be detected. If you touch on the screen... And, you know, you're not touching the Golf Clash app. This is something that they can detect if they want. And they can put code in place that basically, you know, which would essentially give you a forfeit for the match if they wanted to do that. Now, however, I want to let you know that, you know, currently they, they, they don't care. They're not going to be doing that. Um, they're just coming after developers, not users of this. So if you want to still use this, it is perfectly fine for you to do so. Um, another thing that I just want to briefly touch on before I uh, cut this off here is um, the other thing that, uh, you know, I wanted you guys to be aware of is there's going to be, you know, an upgrade coming to the notebook app. It's going to go in effect on April 22nd. So if you were to go into the Google Play Store here and you were, you know, to go to your settings, for example, and turn off, you know, auto update, wherever that is. Don't auto update. So you can see I already have it turned off. If you are to turn that off, your Golf Clash Notebook app will not automatically update. They are not forcing us to make it mandatory for you to upgrade the app. Um, you know, that would take extra staging for us to do, and it's something that we're not looking at doing. So you are not obligated to download the, the, the new update removing the overlay. The only thing that it's going to be affecting is people who download the app after that date or update on April 22nd. So if you're using and are happy with the way that your app is running, you don't have to upgrade the app. We don't have any uh, future plans in the next week or month, you know, coming up where there's going to be a mandatory update for us. There's nothing in place that we want to give you guys. We've put kind of all the important tools in and all updates that we can do. Uh, involving courses don't need to be uh, required to have an update. So there's really nothing that you're going to be missing out on. So if you want to turn off that auto update and essentially just, uh, you know, use this current version that's in place, um, it's more than fine for you to be able to do that. It's basically they're just trying to take out the future users from essentially being able to have the overlay and if that time comes to play where um, you know that changes uh, or if they want to develop something that's going to ban guys from well not ban guys but yeah, like set up some kind of forfeit if an overlay detection is 
is present. Um, that would be the only way that you kind of get yourself in, you know, something that could potentially happen. But they're not certainly not going to be banning accounts at any time for using overlays. So you don't have to, you know, be hesitant to use them. Um, just know that it's something that, yes, they have the capability of detecting if they want to do something involving, um, you know, your account or giving you a forfeit or whatever. You know, it's something that they have the capability of doing. Are they going to? That I don't know. But, um, you know, for now, they're just going after developers. So you don't have to fear, um, you know, using overlays. Uh, please do pass this message along. Um, I'm, I, you know, I keep reading the same things on the Facebook groups and, you know, it's getting to the point that I'm going to just start, you know, kind of just axing these posts because guys are just asking the same questions over and over. And it's always about overlays. Um, this video pretty much, you know, covers everything. So please do forward along this information, let everybody know kind of the stance and how things are going to be. Uh, proceeding moving forward. As I mentioned, you know, I'm going to do the best that I can to essentially clean up a lot of the posts that involve the same duplicate information being talked about and, you know, brought up on a daily basis. So, you know, thanks for your cooperation. And uh, I look forward to, uh, you know, bringing you guys uh, more content uh, in the future. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, good luck with everything moving forward and uh, take care, guys.